buying a house. A rite of passage for all young New Zealanders that used to be so easy. Believe it or not, this is 1993, but now times have changed. Why is it that me, a professional television journalist with a nice blazer, has to pay rent to live in this shithole with up to seven randoms? Jesus, Laura, tell us when you're filming. Yeah, well, maybe I'll give you a heads up if you pay your rent on time. I told you I'm in between jobs, Laura. Oh, f up, Greg. Hi. So I decided to meet with some real-life millennial homeowners to find out how they achieved what most of us can't. So, what's your secret? Um, hard work. Budgeting, saving, and just realistic goal setting. Right, mate? Yeah, that got us 5% of the deposit, and the rest was my rich parents. They are so rich. Well, that was no help, so I decided to try actual advice that I found from real-life property experts. Bernard Salt of The Australian said, stop spending $22 on smashed avocados. That's all I have to do? Too easy. However, as I sat at a cafe talking to Green candidate Chloe Swabrick, I was already beginning to feel the effects. Well, the first step is to admit that we have a housing crisis. Then on from, 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 from that, there's a floor of different things that we can do. That. <laughs> Laura, what are you doing? OK, next piece of advice. Diane Clement of the New Zealand Herald said, buy a house in Otrahonga, Blenheim or Invercargill. No. Then I saw it. Some genius guidance given just the other week by Kiwi property coach and millionaire Gary Lynn. Right, my advice to uh, for Auckland first home buyers are um, basically toughen up. So, yeah, if I were 16 years old today, I would join the army. I would toughen up myself. I would join the army, join the army. I knew what I had to do. I'll write to you every day. I know you will. I'm doing this for us. It was emotional saying goodbye to my hot boyfriend. But it was the only way to buy a house. And Allied forces move in. Home prices continue to rise. So, my attempt to buy a house in Auckland failed, and it broke my boyfriend's heart. And my other boyfriend's heart. Hey, I'm telling the story and I have more than one boyfriend, okay? What? Get over it, mate. The lesson here, if you're a millennial looking to find your first home in Auckland, give up now, because it will end in your certain death. <laughs>